Newly released police body cam video shows how quickly an investigation into an illegally parked car turned violent. That's an officer sh uh, after an officer shot a man in the leg and tonight the police chief says he has concerns about how it all unfolded. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Karen Swenson and I'm Sharice Gibson. Welcome to this hour long edition of Eyewitness News at five because of the NCAA basketball. Uh, the chief says the officer who fired his gun may have violated department policy, and this is not the first time that this officer has been in trouble for firing his gun on the job. Danny Monteverdi has that story. In this body cam video, which the NOPD released Friday, you see Officer Isaiah Shannon walk up to the car with his gun already out behind his back. Shannon and his partner, Officer Marcus Caldwell, stopped to investigate a car parked illegally at Warner Drive and Chef Highway about 9.30 a.m. on March 10th. Listen, you know they parked on the wrong side of the road. Shannon asks the passenger if he and the driver have been smoking. I mean, I smell weed, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. It's a ticket nowadays, bro. Shannon and Caldwell ask the men to get out of the car. Step out real quick. And things escalate quickly. The passenger sprints away. Officer Shannon chases him. It ends in six seconds. The passenger is on the ground with a gunshot wound to his leg. Now the NOPD is investigating the shooting, and Police Chief Sean Ferguson says the way it started could be a problem. Should Officer Shannon have stepped out of the vehicle already holding the gun? That is a part of our investigation. As I said before, I have some concerns on some possible administrative violations, uh, but that is something that we are looking at. This isn't the first time Officer Isaiah Shannon has been investigated for firing his gun on the clock. He was fired in 2014 after he was accused of lying about shooting at an unarmed man who was running away. We found enough evidence that we felt that this individual should have been separated from our department. He got his job back in 2017 after an appeal. By right. He was given his commission and his job back. But now he's on desk duty as investigators wait for him to give his side about what happened this time. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. Officer Caldwell has given a statement and is back to work. The suspect who was shot is not facing any charges at the request of the district attorney's office. Meanwhile, the attorney for Officer Shannon declined to comment since this is still an open investigation.